Oh my god, okay. <laughs> So today's video, if you couldn't already tell, is I'm going to be cutting my curtain bangs. And I've had curtain bangs in the past. Um, literally the first time I ever dyed or bleached my hair in any way. And you know, they were cute, but they weren't the best. I don't know. I also just showered, which is the reason why my cheeks are red, because I took a hot shower. And so my, my hair was kind of wet by the time I cut it. And I'm also very nervous. Reason why I'm also red. There's just so many reasons as to why my face is red right now. To cut my curtain bangs, I'm going to be following a Brad Mondo video because where else do I turn to? So let's just jump right into it. Before I change my mind. And let's just hope I don't regret it. Okay. Home. That's really important. One with very close teeth and one with separated teeth like this. That way you can comb out your section. Then you can get a really nice grip with the smaller teeth, okay? Scissors, guys, shears. Something that actually guts your hair. Also a couple clips, but you can also use a scrunchie. And then you can wet your hair or you can use a spray bottle to wet your hair. And those are the items you'll need. So step one is gonna be to have wet hair. I'm re-wetting re my hair. You're gonna want that to not be your eye. So I'm gonna just dampen up this front section with some water. We are gonna comb our hair in front of our face just like this. The next step is to do a middle part. Side part, basically done. I like always have a side part. I'm gonna take the bangs back about two or three inches up to you, depending on how thick you want them. Okay, so he says two inches. Oh my God, it's getting serious. I'm gonna pay attention to how he does it. And depending on how thin your hair is naturally, I'm gonna go about two inches back and I am going to take these down to about the end of her eyebrow. You should have this little triangle section right here. And we're gonna <laughs> clip the rest of the hair out not... of the way. We're just gonna do the same exact thing on the other side. So we're gonna check where the other is side good? is and bring it yeah. down to the same exact this, place. It's so like your hair should look something like this now. You have one large triangle I because doing, I basically just combed something. the two triangles together <laughs> and now you got one big one. I'm just gonna pin, pin this back. I'm so nervous. You guys are probably seeing everything I'm doing wrong and I can't see it. <sighs> okay. Now, if you're unsure that you took the right amount of hair, you're gonna bring that part back. And I like to just kind of go like this and eyeball it. Kind of imagine what the bang is gonna look like. Bring it to the side. And if you're like, okay, that's a good amount of hair. When that's cut, that'll look nice. That little swoop right there, that'll look nice. You're in a good place. I'm either gonna look like a little 12 year old or it's actually gonna come out good, but I can't tell. So we're gonna hold our scissors like this. So the third okay. finger right here, I think that's the ring finger, and the thumb. We are gonna comb this section nicely, okay? Make sure it's still wet. Then you're gonna decide what length you want to cut. You can always go shorter, you can't go longer. So I'm gonna start off a little bit longer than that, maybe right at the nose, and I oh God, am going cut. to cut. Across. You just cut across. I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna recomb it, and I am going to cut another last cut. Okay, I'm not even there yet. Okay, hold on. I gotta go back. Oh, you middle finger thumb. Okay, nicely. I'm gonna go below my lips. Guys, guys. It, it. It happened. It's done. It's done. <gasps> I'm gonna take a strand from each end and just make sure that they are the same exact length on both sides. All right, so now we have okay. our bangs. We are gonna add a little Ready? bevel. So we're gonna part the hair, then pick up the hair. I comb it parallel to the parting, and then I hold my fingers parallel to the parting. So you're gonna get something like that from short like this? to long. And now all we have to do is cut off those longer pieces. Okay. So now when we let go, we're gonna get a beautiful angle to the fringe. Gosh, it's beautiful. So now it naturally is going to the side like that. And that is how you do a gorgeous so that is what we just cut, and that is what we're going to cut now. Take the hair, comb it parallel to the part, and now we're just gonna cut off that hair. And then once we let it back down, it looks something like 
that. Now to check our work, we're just gonna take the two middle pieces and make sure they're the same length, which they are, and then the two end pieces and okay. make sure they it are. Looks the same like it's I am now okay. gonna just blow dry her hair for you, and then we're gonna go in okay. and detail the bangs. Blow dry and fix this side after it's blow dry. I'm just gonna wet my hair a little more so I can actually get styled with the blow dryer, and I will be back. Okay. So I haven't finished styling them, I just blow dried it. And right now I'm gonna go back and style it. So yeah, just just keep in mind I haven't styled them. I literally just dried them. And now for the finishing touches, you're doing so great. We're gonna let down the rest of the hair. Part off about a half an inch of hair. I like to blend my hair in with the rest, so I'm just gonna take it like that and just follow the end of the fringe down to the bottom Ooh, okay. of her hair. Just giving her that little bit of connection right there in the front. Again, we're just sectioning about a half an inch out at the front, holding it with our fingers, seeing where the end of the hair starts, okay, and then just going down at a slant and slowly cutting out some of that hair as we slide down the hair. So now what's gonna really escalate this look and finish it all off is some styling. It doesn't, I like it. You know, if I don't even style it, it doesn't even look that bad. Like now I'm gonna style it, okay? Okay, I've styled it. Probably not as good as I should style it, but you know what? For my first time, I am not mad because, and I can't play with it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry if that's distracting. You can see Kobe back there. Okay, anyways, thoughts? I have no thoughts. If you guys have any tips on how to style this, please let me know. Thank you guys for watching, and I'm gonna keep playing with them because they're so new and I'm not used to them. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and give me video ideas. Yeah, okay. Thank you, bye.